Thomas Crowley came up north to make his iron works the best. At Sunderland it didn't work when Leighton's where he found his quest. Sir William Booz provided funds, or so they say he likely did. In 1690 then he came to make his fame and fortune bid. Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths through and through? Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths good and true? He brought from Belgium blacksmiths fine to show the local lads their ways. The locks and chains, the tools and nails were best in Europe, highest praise. And so the factory was born, 1,500 men at work, arranged in groups of squares they called, good wages paid, they never shirk. Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths through and through? Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths good and true? Built a school and then a church. A doctor came and just to add, for those now hurt or real or old, the pension paid was none too bad. No Crowley's crew, the men were called, the fought for rights and common good. Beware if you should disagree, the men were tough, a brotherhood. Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths through and through? Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths good and true? For countless years the work went on, renowned and famed throughout the land. But all good things must end the sea, and so the smithy's final hand. In 1966 it came, the hammer struck the final blow, the final link, the final chain, no longer does the fire blow. Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths through and through? Crowley's crew, Crowley's crew, where are blacksmiths good and true?